Okay, this week we're working on matrix operations. You just saw two videos uh, about addition and subtraction and scalar multiplication. So remember, if you're adding and subtracting matrices, they have to be the exact same size. For scalar multiplication, think about that as the distributive. So if you had a matrix that looked like this, say 1, 2, negative 5, you would just do the distributive. And it, uh, the matrix would stay the same size. Now, you also watched a video on matrix multiplication. Now, we're going a step further. Now, there's three matrices. And so, you have to think about the order that you're going to be doing. Remember, order of ops still apply. So, if you had five times four times six, you'd simplify inside parentheses first. Then you'd multiply, although technically, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. So what you're going to do here is you're going to focus on these two first. You're going to multiply those two matrices. And notice you label, so two rows by three columns. And then this one is three columns by two rows. And notice. The two inside values agree. The new matrix will be a 2 by 2, which is what I did right there. All right, and then I carried this down because this is still, we have to multiply that later, but we first have to do this multiplication. So remember the process. Uh, it's going to be a 2 by 2, and you're going to do 2 times negative 6 plus negative 3 times negative 3 plus 2 times 4, and that will be for that space right there. Then, once you have that space finished, we're going to move over to this space. So, 2 times 2, negative 3 times 5, 2 times 5. You're going to add those things together, so 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 5, plus 2 times 5, you're going to find the sum of those things, and it's going to go there. And we're going to do the bottom two, so you're going to start down here, the lower level. 6 times negative 6, plus negative 5 times negative 3, plus 1 times 4 is going to go in this location. And then for the last location, 6 times 2, plus negative 5 times 5, plus 1 times 5, the sum of those three products goes here. All right, so let's look to see what I did. Oh, I went ahead and multiplied them out and simplified. Then, once you do that, so let's see, whoops. Yeah, I went ahead and showed the work right here. So, in this spot right here, it was 2 times negative 6 plus negative 3 times negative 3 plus 2 times 4. You add all those products up, so negative 12 plus 9 plus 8 gives you 5, which is right there. You do that for each one, and then we have, so I'm going to erase this now. Oh, no, I'm not. Once we know what this is, now we can multiply. This is a 1 by 2. This matrix is a 2 by 2. The two inside ones agree. So the new matrix will be a 1 by 2. So one row by two columns. So it'll be, for this spot right here, it'll be 6 times 5, which is 30 plus 3 times negative 17, which is negative 51. You're going to add those two things together. Then for this spot right here, it's 6 times 6, which is 36, plus 3 times negative 8, which is negative 24. So we have 30 plus negative 51, which should be negative 21, and 36 plus negative 24. Okay. Now, one thing I want to add. If the parentheses had not been there, so let me put that in white right here. 
if those parentheses had not been there. then you would have just multiplied like order of ops as you read left to right. And notice we could have, because those two inside numbers agree. You would have multiplied straight across. All right, and I believe, yep, I believe that's it for this one.